Some very big news came out on Friday, March 28th, 2025. At the end of the day, 4 p.m., Vertex Pharmaceuticals published this press release with a pretty quiet headline saying they just had some updates about their type 1 diabetes portfolio. Unfortunately, one of those updates included a really big bummer about their VX264 clinical trial. Their VX264 clinical trial has officially failed and they have stopped the trial. This is a huge bummer for people who have lived with type 1 diabetes for a very long time. So if you've never heard of VX264, here's what you need to know. VX264 uses Vertex's cell-based therapy. Basically, they have figured out how to manufacture an unlimited supply of cells that produce insulin. Now, they already know these cells work thanks to their VX880 clinical trial, but that one uses immunosuppression. We'll get to that in a minute. VX264 was using this cell-based therapy, insulin-producing cells that could produce insulin in people who've lived with type 1 diabetes for decades. But you've still got to protect those cells from the immune system of a person with type 1 diabetes. If you just introduce those cells, your immune system is gonna say, oh no, beta cells, they're gonna produce insulin, attack, attack, attack. So you've gotta protect the cells. VX264 used a surgically implanted device that aimed to protect those cells from your immune system as a person with type 1 diabetes. The first participant in the VX264 clinical trial was enrolled in July of 2024, not even a full year ago. While they tolerated the therapy well, meaning they didn't get sick, they didn't have any really severe reactions that would need the therapy to be removed, the surgically implanted device to be removed, et cetera, et cetera. The cells were not producing a significant amount of insulin. Now we already know the cells work thanks to the VX880 trial. So this means what probably didn't work is the implanted device that was supposed to protect those cells. And that's a huge bummer, huge bummer, because this is one of the leading therapies in the race to develop a cure for type 1 diabetes. Meanwhile, the VX880 clinical trial continues with great success. The last time we heard about the VX880 clinical trial, 11 out of 12 participants were insulin independent. And they've been part of this trial now for several years. So that's a really big deal. It means it's working and it's continuing to work. Of course, the catch here is that VX880 requires immunosuppression therapy. For most of us, immunosuppression therapy is not worth the trade-off just to have cells in our body that successfully produce insulin. Immunosuppression therapy comes with all kinds of side effects that simply aren't worth it if you are able to get through your day and live a pretty full life as a person with type 1 diabetes. That means VX880 is really intended for people specifically who are struggling to survive the day and they're experiencing severe, frequent hypoglycemia events. That's who Vertex is targeting with this therapy. Now those people, it is worth it for them to be on immunosuppression therapy because otherwise their life is basically in danger all the time. They cannot live a real full productive life. Vertex is so confident in VX880 that they're actually building a manufacturing plant to mass produce these cells because they hope to eventually submit this for FDA review and get it approved even you know, in other countries, of course, because there are people with type 1 diabetes around the globe who are struggling to survive. So that's the latest on VX264 and VX880. I've got a feeling that the brilliant, dedicated minds at Vertex are already working on the next thing, the next idea they have to develop a functional cure for people with type 1 diabetes who don't want to be on immunosuppression therapy, but we do want to be done with daily insulin therapy via injections or pump. Vertex has made it very clear that they are 100% committed to developing a functional cure for type 1 diabetes. They're not just going to give up because 264 didn't work. And I'm looking forward to hearing what they're working on next. Hey, thanks for watching this video. 
hit the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I appreciate your support. And if you haven't heard, I've got a new edition of Pregnancy with Type 1 Diabetes out available on Amazon. This book is everything you need before, during, and after your pregnancy as a woman with type 1 diabetes.